Hey there everybody, John Spilsato here from the Arizona Home Group for our April Market Report. On behalf of Sharon Caffini and Melanie Didier, thanks for checking in. I want to talk a little bit about a major demographic shift that may be underway, but I'm going to get that to in a second. First, I wanted to thank everybody who contributed to our Care Fund drive last month. We raised over $6,000 for the Care Fund organization. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who bought raffle tickets and bid on prizes and and just came out to our events. We really appreciate it. Thank you. We couldn't have done it without you guys. Looking forward to seeing you again next year. So let's dive right into it. Let's talk a little bit about uh, what's going on in the market. Uh, as we know, uh, it's springtime. Things are happening. There's a lot of activity out there. But let's talk a little bit about inventory today because here's our graph. We see it every month. I show it to you starting down here from January, increase in the springtime. And we started to taper off. So the Phoenix metro area in general has inventory that's been tapering off. That's great, right? Well, you know, you got to realize that you got to dig a little bit deeper and realize that those numbers could be a little bit deceiving because inventory increases uh, and changes from zip code to zip code and from price range to price range. Let's look here at the 500,000 and above price range, the luxury market, high range price range, okay? A little different picture here, okay? Here's inventory in January. It's been increasing, increasing, increasing all spring. A little bit of taper off just in the last week or two, but basically a 19% increase in inventory. That's a little bit different picture than we just saw for the whole market, okay? Let's dig a little deeper and let's look at the 85258 zip code here just in Scottsdale. Wow, look at that. And just in the last week, we've had just this increase. 60% increase in inventory in the 500,000 and above range. It is definitely a buyer's market in 85258 and all everything above 500,000 and above uh, across the whole Phoenix metro area. Again, here's the whole area, whole metro area, not just 85258. This is the 12 month moving average, a dollar per square foot. It's been increasing since 2011, 2011. Looks like we reached a peak at last August, 2015. Sharp drop off in the third and fourth quarter, leveled out at the beginning of the year, and then a little bit of a turn down again uh, just recently. So. Very different picture in the 500,000 and above across the Phoenix metro area. So the question is, what's happening? Why is that? Well, there's a number of different factors that go into it. Uh, and there's a national analyst out there, Stephen Kim from Barclays, and he suggests that there's probably a big secular demographic change that's underway. We'll talk a little bit about that. So you've got all these baby boomers out there who've got their homes out there uh, looking to downsize. Kids are off to college. They want to get into a smaller home. They want to pull out some equity. They want to do some traveling, right? So everyone put their homes on the market. It's springtime 2016, the recession over let's go for it well everyone jumped in at the same time problem is there's a smaller pool of buyers for that price range first of all because the Fannie Mae uh, guidelines as far as loan amounts also less people have the cash to put down okay a lot of generation Xers got wiped out they're low on equity low on cash low on credit so there's less buyers in the Gen X range to buy then you got the Millennials now the Millennials they're a little hesitant because they saw what happened to the previous generations that wipe out. Uh, they're saddled with a lot of uh, student debt. They've got low on cash, but they've also got a different need than previous generations. There's a less of a desire to go out to the suburbs and buy a big house and start a big family. They're waiting later to start families. They're having smaller families. But most importantly, the, gen the millennials want to be closer in. They want to be close to the restaurants. They want to be hip. They want to be less travel time to work, close to the freeway. They want to be in, more urban, okay? The suburban life doesn't appeal to them for all these different reasons. So that's happening. That's the big sort of secular shift that's happening in demographics. The other thing that seems to be happening is uh, what's called the HGTV phenomenon. And I'm going to credit Carl Stoffer, my buddy over at Remax, who came up with that term. I think it's great and I think it's true. I think for the last decade or so, we've all been watching HGTV and watching people fix and flip and do all these wonderful, beautiful houses. And that's what people want. Okay? So if you've got 20 or 30 homes to choose from and you're a buyer and you're out there and you're looking at homes that need to be completely remodeled or a little, a little bit cosmetic updating or the homes that are completely done, turnkey, ready to move in tomorrow. Okay? What seems to be happening is because there's less cash and interest rates are so incredibly low. I mean, look, 3.63%. I'm a buyer out there. I'm going to keep the money in my pocket. And if I'm able, I'm going to qualify for a little bit more house. I'm going to get that house that I can move right into. Save me time, save me energy, save me cash, save me aggr aggravation. And it's instant. I can move in tomorrow to a completely turned in house. Um, so you got to realize that 
With a lot of choices out there, the buyers are leaning towards the ones that are completely remodeled. And that's why you see these fix and flip guys making money. You hear them on the radio all the time. The market's out there because the buyers want something that's hip, it's today, and it's turnkey. And they're willing to pay a little bit extra for that. So regardless of your price range or your location, you got to look at what's happening in the market right in your neighborhood and you want to be competitive. Give us a call. We'll come out. We'll take a look at your house. We'll show you exactly what's selling in your neighborhood. We'll give you some tips and ideas on how to improve your house, how to get it ready, whether that's today, 30 days, or six months down the road, even next year. It's not too early to start. Give us a call. We'll give you some tips. A lot of great ideas out there. We'll show you how to get your top dollar in the shortest amount of time. So give us a call. Once again, John Spasato from the Arizona Home Group at Remax. On behalf of Sharon Caffini, Melanie Didier, Erica and Diane and everybody else, you guys have a great weekend and we'll see you next month.